What do you love about teaching? I love the challenge, I love the interactivity, I love um, being with young people. It's a challenge to be creative on a regular basis. What inspired you to start sharing your resources? What we tended to find is some of the platforms that we've shared resources before in the past aren't quite as popular as they used to be. So um, the TES website, because of the label and, and, and it's sort of the association of being with quality, I know that um, I could, my, people maybe would access my content. I was wondering if you had any nice stories or an example of how you have used your resources in the classroom. One of my favourite resources that I put online is it's actually a revision set of cards, uh, called I call them dingbats, and uh, it has the, the title of a topic on it and a load of series of keywords on it. Um, and the idea would be the child would read out the, uh, the keywords and try and guess the topic. And it's a great way of creating interactivity but also reinforcing the keywords and knowledge the kids need to know. Creating resources like that which um, create a bit of fun, a bit of competition and get the kids excited, whilst at the same time, you know, helping them learn. That's the sort of thing which I enjoy doing, and a lot of my resources do that. Um, if you look on the, on the History Academy, you can see a range of sort of like revision cards and also card sorts designed to elicit that type of fun and you know creativity and engagement with the students. Can you just tell us what TES means to you? So TES to me is, is an old friend. It's someone who I've always gone to since I first started training in 1992, and I always continue going to. A bit like Marks and Spencer's for for teaching.